received this Boss Katana Artist Mark II head today from Sweetwater, and I'm going to unbox it right now. Now, I had recently sold my Victory V40 Deluxe head. It's a wonderful all tube amp that I bought about four years ago. Kind of hated to let it go, um, but it's something that had to be done for financial reasons. The money I got out of that sale, which was on reverb, was more than twice uh, what this cost me. And by the way, uh, this is a relatively new item and it's uh, quite popular and a hot seller. But I called ahead and spoke to my Sweetwater sales engineer and I asked, what's the rock bottom lowest price you can give me on this amp? <laughs> And he basically told me that it's a new item and it's a hot seller and it's very popular. But I'll see what I can do. And he did knock about, uh, I think it was $23 off the price. So, you know, every little bit helps. Okay, I've got the box open. I see a lot of foam here and some cardboard. Let's get the camera up closer. This appears to have something stored inside it. Oh, man. Well. Oh, there you go. Appears to be the power cord. Oops. Well, look at that. An actual paper owner's manual. It's a real book. Oh, in many different languages. appears to be some kind of labels for who knows what. I'll find out later. One more thing in here. Uh, QR code for a boss start guide online. Okay, let's set that aside. Anything else down here? Okay, <laughs> have it rather in a high location here. Oh. And this is not light. And it has emerged from its plastic bag. It's the front panel. Mm -hmm. Nice control layout. And on the back, all our inputs, effects loop, foot control, inputs, power, MIDI in, stereo record out, all kinds of switches. There's one more thing in the box here, actually. Aha. Uh -huh. They didn't let me down. I got my little Sweetwater thank you card and a bag of candy. Always look for this stuff when you purchase from Sweetwater. Whew, looks like I've got a lot to learn here. Oh, well, wait a minute. The English section of the manual is only 16 pages long. I guess I could read that in one night. Well, I am curious to see what kind of sounds I can get out of this with just uh, the settings right out of the box. But there are a few patches that I have in mind that I like to download from their online database. So I'll be back with an update. Yikes. <laughs>
I've had a few days to play around with this amp. I've got to tell you, I'm very impressed. It's a really good amplifier. Uh, solid state amps have come a long way since uh, when I first bought one back in the 1980s. It's a very responsive amplifier and reacts a lot like a tube amp in that when you dig in and push hard, it, it kind of gives you something back, a little extra. And when you ease up and you're playing, it uh, cleans up a little bit. Maybe not exactly like a tube amp, but it's pretty darn close. And the built-in effects are all very good. Of course, Boss is known for making good effects and have been for decades. The instruction manual uh, leaves a lot to be desired, and I've heard online other people complaining about it. It uh, kind of tells you what the knobs do, but it uh, doesn't really tell you how to put it to good use. And some of it requires a little bit of figuring out Thankfully, there's a lot of information online on YouTube and so forth. A lot of people reviewing these and talking about how to get the most out of them. This uh, set of stickers that came with it, I figured out on my own. It's for the GAFC foot controller. Because Boss came out with a new foot controller, the GAFC EX, which works with this. Both foot controllers will work with this, but the labels on the original GAFC are, don't match what this will do so you can cover up the text on it with these stickers so there's no mention of this in the manual what these are for but i figured that out the uh, patches i downloaded were from the studio rats uh, one of their more recent packs and that's what i was playing around with however honestly if you just plug in and use the panel they call it the panel which is just the front controls it's hard not to get a good sound out of this of course um, that's subjective. Other people will be a lot more picky than me. But uh, I was really happy with it when I first turned it on and plugged in. I thought, wow, this sounds great. I don't even know what the settings were. I just turned it on. <laughs> it does require a little study to get the most out of it, but just playing around with it a little bit. You can figure out what does what with these effects knobs here. There's a booster and uh, modulation and uh, reverb and so forth. All of the knobs have a very smooth feel to them with just enough resistance that they feel like they're high quality. I do think that the knobs on the effects section, there's an outer ring and an inner knob. They feel a little cheaper, uh, but not, nothing terrible. There's a couple of switches on the side here, the contour switch and then the power selector. And these, um, there's almost no click between the settings and it's very easy just to put it in between and you don't know what you're gonna get. Ooh, those aren't controls that you're going to be messing with uh, much once you get them set the way you want. You'll just leave them. The amp selector over here has a really nice click sound. You can probably hear that. And everything else just feels top quality. So I'm very happy with it. So far I have no regrets selling the Victory V40 Deluxe tube head and uh, exchanging it out for this. I think that Boss has done a fine job making a professional grade uh, amplifier head here. Everything about it is really solid and feels like you could put it to use uh, in a live clubbing environment and it would last you a long time. It's a very versatile amp and I think that's the big selling point. You can do everything from clean to crazy overdrive and with a variety of good quality effects built in. And if you're in the market for an amp like this or any other piece of music here, Remember, call ahead and ask the retailer if there's any little discount that they can give you, like Sweetwater did for me. It was $23 off. Just made it feel like it was an extra special deal just for me. They'd probably do it for anybody. But you don't always have to pay the price printed, so call and ask. Thanks for joining me in this unboxing of the Boss Katana Artist Mark II Head. Subscribe and stay tuned for more guitar-related videos. Until next time, I've been James Caldwell.